All right, family, it's time to go for a run. People are places, so places is about people. Let's document the entire world together. Eastern Washington. Don't let her. This is the Columbia River. This is my path to run on it. And this is me running. <laughs> These are the plants that we run beside. It's really very pretty. Wow, look at that. It's starting to rain. I've got places to go, like down there. I guess this counts as trail running, right? Shift in location really changes your perspective. Speaking of perspective, anybody wanna go cliff jumping? This is the part where we scramble on rocks that are larger than my ankles. Okay, this is legitimately steep. And it's hard to get down. down. Getting back up would be less pleasant even. <laughs> Dang, it's so good. I guess this is like the reverse of what happens after I run up a mountain, I would expect the climb back up to be a little bit more rigorous. There it is, the path. These things are always harder to navigate than they look. Doesn't look that far to the path, does it? So close, but yet so far. On the other hand, look how far we've come. It's really sandy, and then light brown grass growing out of it. Almost there. Can't nobody tell me I don't work for my workout. Ta-da! All right, now let's go this way. This is where it's at. I was planning on bathing in there when I was done. It's gonna be a long walk up. Cliff. Water. No sunshine. Last time I was here, the sun was out. The sun's about to set in like 30 minutes. Well, when I left, it was. So there's no way I'm not doing that in the dark. We're gonna run for a few miles. This is even paved. Nice. I've never actually run down here. I just, I've seen it. Gonna run for a few miles. Well, we're gonna think about bathing. We're gonna return to the RV. Beach line. Also, the chances of me getting lost down here, somewhat high. Think about it. All the canyons start to look the same after a while. I always err in the favor of getting obliterated and then trying to make the confusing hard decisions. Well, I did it. I got lost in the dark. So we're just gonna bathe. Oh goodness. It's always steeper than it looks. Also, unclear hello there. It's also unclear. How far I ran. Well, at least I got it on film. It's a good fall. What is that noise? Oh, it's ice cold. Pretty usual. Lake Coeur d'Alene in December was way colder. But my goodness. I mean, it doesn't make you legitimately pass out, which is good because I'd have quite a time getting back to the RV if that were the case. But, I mean, that's freezing. As one might expect the Columbia River to be in March. 
All right, so far this workout, or whatever you call it, adventure, has all the elements of a classic workout. I mean, a fall, getting lost, miss underestimating, miss underestimating, underestimating. That's so right. How far it would be to get to where I was trying to go. The only advice I have when you get lost is try not to panic. And then when the panic starts to come because it's dark and you're in the middle of one of the largest landscapes you've been in a while and you're tired and cold and it's raining, just uh, suppress the panic. Shine a bright light into your eyes and talk to the camera. So when you can't really see anything, you're not sure where you're going, and you run into a cliff, I guess try to go up it, yeah? I mean, I can see as much as you can, with the exception of the lights. Land. Onto the rocks, up the cliff. All right, this is officially rock climbing. Luckily, if we're being completely honest, this is a very mild environment. Not too many scorpions, it's not cold, it's like 50 degrees maybe. Light wind, the rain is dying down. I mean, I have no way of knowing whether I'm in the right spot or not. Except for intuition and the fact that this happens to me literally every workout. And by workout, I mean run on the side of the road. It's way easier to run up mountains, though, because then you're coming down. And you can look and see where you're going back to. Alright, we've made it up the first and a half. You can't really see. I can see the next cliff against the sky. I think there are three that we have to climb. And then we'll be to the top. And we'll just look around for that parking area. And at the end of the day, I have every confidence, unless I get bitten by something, or eaten, or slipping gash myself that in the end this will be no different than anyone else's workout except that it involves more of a landscape than an adventure oh look graffiti chances are I picked the right uh, spot to go up the hill I guess that's exciting right not nearly as exciting as graffiti why on earth do people graffiti things in the wild, in the city, it kind of makes sense. It's like people live there. So of course they would create sometimes mediocre and sometimes avant-garde, yet beautiful art. However, people do not live in the wild. And the ones that actually do, do not graffiti. Yeah, this is definitely a path. Look at this. This is where the first thing I popped up on. I did a pretty good job picking the right cliff to climb up. And then, I mean, I got lucky. And I have been getting better at listening to my... Alright, well, I'm back. Goodbye!